Hi Kindergarten! Today we're going to continue learning about the pilgrims and today's story is called Ferdinand and Isabella. Let's start with our vocab. Our first word is adventures. Now adventures are exciting trips or experiences. So in this picture it looks like Dora the Explorer is going on an adventure with her friend Boots. Our next word is convince. To convince someone means to make someone believe something. So, you know, I could say I was able to convince my mother that I deserved extra dessert. Our next word is fleet. Fleet is a group of ships moving or working together under one leader. So in this fleet, it looks like this boat is the leader. The leader might be on this boat, but the other boats are still all a part of the same team. So that's a fleet. Navigators. Navigators are people who map out a trip and make sure the ship or other vehicle stays on track. So normally if someone's driving, the person next to them might be the navigator looking at the map or Google Maps and telling them where to go. Our last word is victorious. That means winning or succeeding. All right, so you all have seen this map so many times. <laughs> and we talked last time about how a European like Giovanni wanted to travel to the Indies, to Asia, because he wanted spices, gold, fine cloth. There was a lot of stuff that he wanted to buy over there. So now if they were going by land from Italy over to Asia, they would go this way, but they would have to cross through Constantinople, which was not letting them through. So instead, they decided to go into the ocean, through the Mediterranean Sea, around Africa, the entire continent, and over this way, okay? Now, remember, they were planning to take ships, and this, oops, not the Google Maps, and this right here was the map that they were looking at. So they were going to take off into the ocean and go around Africa over here. But they didn't really know what they were going to encounter. They'd never been that way before. So it was a little scary. Now, remember, the Europeans are going south around Africa and then east to get to Asia. Okay? And they don't know what's going to happen. So now I want you to imagine traveling on a ship hundreds of years ago. Do you think it would be like a cruise ship like we have today? Hmm, I don't think so. Traveling by ship hundreds of years ago was really difficult and also really expensive. So who do we know in Europe at this time who was really rich and could have a lot of people do hard work for them? Hmm. The richest people at that time were the kings and queens. So they were the ones who paid for the ships and the sailors to sail the ships all the way over there. Today's read aloud is about a man named Christopher Columbus who tried to get money to sail a ship to the Indies over to Asia. And in today's read aloud, you're going to hear about when Columbus visited the king and queen of Spain to ask for money. Okay. Mm. So based on that, who do you think Ferdinand and Isabella were? Mm. That's the title of our story, and we're learning about kings and queens. Mm, I wonder who they are. So Christopher Columbus planned to sail from Europe to Asia, but he had a different idea about how to get there. He didn't want to sail around the coast of Africa because he didn't know what was around there, so he was too nervous. So you're going to listen carefully to figure out how Columbus intended or wanted to reach the golden spaces of the Indies. It's also really important to remember that the kings and queens wanted more money and they wanted more spices and they wanted more cloth and all of these things but 
we're going to have to think a little bit more as we learn more about them if they really needed that stuff and if the way they were trying to get it was okay. Let's get started. Now that the land route to Asia was closed, kings and queens from all over Europe began looking for the best sea route to the treasures of the East. So the best way to get to Asia on a boat. They greedily sought to claim rare and expensive Asian spices for their own countries. So they want to take stuff from Asia and bring it to their own, to their own homes because they're being a little greedy. The race was on in every European port. Young navigators competed to lead adventures to Asia. Remember, navigators are the people who map out a trip and make sure the ship stays on track. So an adventure is an exciting trip or experience. So navigators wanted to be picked to lead a ship on an exciting adventure to a place they'd never been before. They were anxious to try out new, lighter sailing trips that made it possible to sail faster and farther than ever before. One of these navigators was an Italian man named Christopher Columbus. Like all the others, he was an experienced sailor. What made Columbus stand out from the others, or what made him different, was that he didn't plan on reaching Asia by sailing east around the coast of Africa. He had a different idea. Christopher Columbus wanted to sail west, so in the other direction, across the Atlantic Ocean, in order to reach the Indies. He visited several kings in different European countries, asking for their help. Laying out his map, he tried to convince them that his idea was a good one. So he's trying to get them to believe him. Hmm. Now, do you think he had a good idea and would be able to convince the kings and queens that it was a good idea? For many years, Columbus tried unsuccessfully to get the support of European kings and queens. The king of Portugal said no. The king of Italy refused him, said no. The king of England refused him, said no. Only the Spanish kings and queens seemed interested in his plan to sail west across the Atlantic. But they turned him down too because Spain was at war and they had no time or money for Asian trade then. Columbus knew that he could not make the trip without their ships or money. Hmm. Now, seven long years after Columbus first met with King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain, he became hopeful that his long wait was over at last. As he rode down the mountains, which you see here, Columbus recalled his first visit to the great Spanish city below. Spain had been at war then. Now the Spanish war was over and the Spanish king and queen had won. They had won. Columbus hoped that the victorious royal couple, so the king and queen, who were newly rich with the treasures they had taken in war, would have the time, money, and attention to help him. At last, he thought he might reach his goal of sailing west to the Indies. Hmm. Let's see. A Spanish army officer directed him to the large, fancy tents in which the king and queen were still living, for they had not even had time to move from their army camp to the palace. Still, they were not suffering. Their tents contained thick, beautiful carpets, full-size beds. The royal couple sat upon thrones brought from their palace in northern Spain. They dined off plates made of silver, eating fine food and drinking fine wine. Their many servants were there to take care of them. Most important, with the war over, Ferdinand and Isabella were too happy and proud to complain much about anything. They smiled as Columbus bowed before them and told them to rise to his feet. And now, Christopher Columbus, said the queen, let us talk about your plan of sailing west to the Indies. Columbus's heart leapt within him. The queen and the king must have talked it over, and now they were ready to help him act out his long-held plans. Columbus was going to search for the riches of the east by sailing west. Hmm. He would be in charge of a whole fleet, a whole group of ships. Very interesting. Hmm. 
Now I want you all to look at something. This is the map that we've been talking about and we know Italy is here and they wanted to go over here to Asia. So before they'd said they'd go in this tiny bit of water around Africa to get over to Asia. But Christopher's Columbus is telling them to go west. That means this way. If they go this way, what are they gonna hit? But on their map over here, there isn't anything. I wonder what is going to happen. We have a lot more to learn about. Remember to click on that exit ticket below. See you later, kindergarten.